sometime between 10 o'clock p.m. last night and 2 a.m. this morning. He left through the Sally Port, which is the attached garage. Not sure if it was the doors on this side or the south side. And within minutes of Denny Kellum's leaving those doors, police say his desperate escape and the violence that came with it hit its first victim. He went up just up the hill to Riley gas station where he battered a female and stole her vehicle. Stunned and beaten, the victim and the gas station attendees called 911. Paoli police responded having no idea the suspect was a jail escapee. But when police found the car in this apartment complex 20 miles away in French Lick, they knew about the escape and got prepared. Set up an area, contacted French Lick PD and Indiana State Police. We brought out one of our canine units. As residents saw flashlights through their windows, police searched the woods in the back of the apartment and found Kellums in what they describe as a violent state. Kellums began walking towards a Paoli officer and at that point began stabbing himself in the throat. Officers gained control of the situation and took Kellums to a local hospital to be treated. Police say they're not surprised by the violent behavior. He has a certainly a history uh, and is known by law enforcement here in Orange County and in turn knows the Orange County Jail. So for him to you know, kind of know the facility would make it certainly easier for him to, to be able to get out. Indiana State Police say right now they're trying to fill in the blanks of everything that happened during Kellum's escape, including possibly more victims. In the meantime, Kellums now faces additional charges. We're looking at escape, uh, battery causing injury, auto theft, resisting law enforcement. There's a whole number of things preliminarily that we can come up with, and that's before we get into the details of what he did. Now, Sergeant Hensley says that the Indiana State Police and the Orange County Jail are working together to try and find the possible weak spots in the jail so that other inmates, whether they know the facility well or not, cannot escape. Live in the newsroom, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Thank you.